Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to Mundham Park, episode four. Today, I'm going to take some of the things I've made in recent videos and use them to decorate the back straight just up there. So if you're familiar with the video I did on making Armco Barrier with speaker wire, you'll already be well aware of this area of my track. And what I need to do first is just remove this chunk because I need to work on it elsewhere. So here we have the removed piece of track and the piece of scenery that I built the other week. Now I'm not that happy with the way Carrera's candy striping is working so I'm going to redirect it and alter the shape a little. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put masking tape all over the bits where I think I'm going to paint. And then I'm going to mark up and then cut out the bits of masking tape where I want paint to appear. One eternity later. And it really was. So you can see here now that I've got some masking tape on both ends and I've cut pieces of masking tape away on the centre section where I want the white line to go. On these end sections where I've masked off, I'm masking off to paint black over the current candy stripe. This is where candy stripe is going over the black. So one's one way round and one's the other. And of course, through the magic of television, I've painted some black on there. I thought I'd show you that. And I've painted that white. And I used, as you may be familiar with, good old black doorstep paint and some white car primer. Now the thing with the black doorstep paint is it really does match the Carrera black track quite well. And if I put these here you can see kind of where I'm going with this. So the next thing to do is continue the candy stripes onto the piece of white that I've masked and painted. Remembering, of course, to get the right number of stripes so that you don't end up with two red ones or two white ones. And now I've masked up bits of white and left unmasked the bits that I'm going to paint red next. Which, again, through the magic of television, I've painted red. And again, I used car paint for this. Actually, a very old can I had in my shed, which for reference is LF169 Ford Radiant Red. It's actually slightly too dark a red, as you'll see in a little while, but it was what I had and it's close enough. So now that's unwrapped, you can see here that I've got candy striping in and if I put in those modified Carrera corner pieces, you can see how the stripes are going to sweep in. What I didn't do here was remove the last piece of the masking from the front edge as you're looking at it of this board. However, here's a view of it after I did. You can see now that the candy striping is kind of a bit more flowing and sweeping and doesn't just do an abrupt 90 and stop like it used to.
and now I'm going to use the flag wavers post that I built in a video recently that's a magnetic racing kit and the Ron trackside figures I painted recently in another video and a couple of other little bits of scenery I've got a wheelie bin which came in a sort of grey but I've painted it municipal green and a few little traffic cones so we'll arrange those in a little bit of scenery behind the Armco barrier and we'll stick that down with CA glue but I'm going to make you wait to see that so let's put the piece of repainted track back in place and the next thing I'm going to do is add a bit of kind of texture to the piece of grey plywood that is the back wall of my back straight so a couple more grey primer pieces of Armco made from speaker wire sticking those to plywood with CA glue you do have to sit there and hold it for quite a while super glue is supposed to be fairly instant but in this case definitely not it did finally stick and then another piece the other end so this arm co will lead into the piece that's on the scenery we made previously and now using the same technique I used when I did the scratch build pit wall I've printed out some c concrete texture on a laser printer and I'm now just going to trim pieces of that and use it to turn a grey plywood wall into a concrete wall. This is supposed to be a bit of urban street racing so concrete walls and armcos is really what the scenery needs to be here. And using my usual favourite glue stick because the way that gum works it's just the easiest way to apply effectively wallpaper to your slot car track and I just work my way all the way along And now it's time to put the scenery piece back. So there you can see flag wavers post. I used four of the characters, not all six. I thought probably six and a flag waver at a marshal's post is a bit overkill. And there it is seated back into place. You can see how the arm code follows through. And of course, it's got that horseshoe hairpin sign which is fairly representative of the corner that the drivers, drivers, you know, will be approaching. And I extended the armcos across the bridge, so we've got a whole sweep of it there, into the concrete wall, three layers of armco off that corner because the cars do hit that. And I added a few little bits of slot R advertising There's the little guys and the bin and the cones and a bit more advertising down the end Dave Kennedy slot car news if you don't slot car news do you even slot car and our favorite critic Mr Thumbs Up Man of course thinks all of this is brilliant thanks for watching my video uh, as always if you liked it you'll find a button specifically for that press the subscribe for further updates and if you hit the bell it will give you lots of notifications every time I post anything. And don't forget to check out this slot car channel.